Welcome back. In the previous video, we saw the differences between server-side routing and client-side routing. And now we are all set to start coding our multi-page application. Awesome. So let's jump back to our terminal and let's open our project directory in Visual Studio Code. Again, this is something which I prefer. I just prefer Visual Studio Code. If you want, you can use any other editor like, let's say, uh, Atom or Sublime Text or any other editor of your choice. I generally prefer using Visual Studio Code. It's completely my own preference. You can use any any uh, editor that you want. So I'll just open it quickly through my uh, command prompt and let's see this. Perfect. So now this is done. Cool. So now this is how it's going to look like. Again, um, I expect that you already have a little bit knowledge about the structure, how the Create React app is structured and so on. In case you don't, again, go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash the lean programmer. In that YouTube channel, you're going to see a lot of tutorial videos for React. So don't worry, even if you are a beginner, just quickly jump onto that complete any one of the playlists and come back very quickly. I'll be waiting for you here. Don't worry. Perfect. So now let's quickly start our React server. For to, starting, to start our server, we can quickly say npm start. So this is going to start serving <coughs> our React application on the localhost 3000. Awesome. This is perfect. So this is how our portfolio looks like the deployed portfolio and this is how currently our thing looks like right now perfect that's very very cool so now in this video we are quickly going to define our routes so before doing that i want you to start from scratch again in every video i just help you start from scratch so this time i want you to start from scratch what i want you to do is delete everything that's present inside src of course apart from our assets Apart from our, our assets, I want you to delete everything from here to here. Just click on the delete button and then delete it. <clears throat> Perfect. And now what I want you to do is I want you to create an index.js, which is going to use React DOM to render an app component and define that app component as well. Just pause the video here, take it as a challenge and come back. Perfect. So I hope you were able to do that. So here's the solution for that challenge. Let's quickly create a new file. I'm going to call it index.js. So in the, inside that index.js, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import react from react. I'm going to import react dom from react. Okay. From react dom. Let's do this very, very quickly. And let's also import app from Again, one level up components, components slash app. So again, this <clears throat> app component is currently not present here because I deleted it, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to make that very quickly. So just let's assume for now that there's this app component and let's use our react dom dot render. And inside that, let's build an app and let's use document dot get element by id or query selector any one of your choice and let's put it inside root perfect and let's create a components directory components and inside that components i'm going to create another folder which is going to be app and inside that app so we need to go one for level further so inside that app i'm going to create my app dot jsx it's going to be the javascript component react component jsx component and it's going to be the app.css i'm going to create both of them app.css and app.jsx here i'm going to create a simple stateless functional component i'm going to name it app and for now let's just keep it let's say this is nothing but so uh, let's say this returns an h1 which says hello world perfect this is this is completely perfect. Let's also import our style sheet, which is app.css. Very, very cool. So this should work now. Let's quickly test it out on our web browser. Let's quickly open it. And it says 
the element type is invalid so it expected a string or but got an object so what happened here let's see let's we should be able to debug our code as well so let's quickly see what happened here uh, nothing seems to be wrong as such probably something wrong while importing the component so let me try to import it once again let's see this app from uh, perfect let's import app cool why is it not showing auto suggestion things happen sometimes perfect so now it auto imported from the app directory yes it happens in visual studio code uh, that it is able to auto import in case you are not able to auto import again you should be able to do that very easily it's just an import statement now let's see this should ideally work and it works so it was just a wrong import i must have typed some wrong spelling or something like that so no worries on that thing cool so now this is done let's quickly assign some some styling to our body as well perfect so let's assign some some uh, styles so i'm going to keep the minimum height so minimum height of every page or basically the app component the body basically the body should have a minimum height of 100 viewport and then the box sizing of course border box then margin should be not max resolution margin should be zero and the width should be 100% it should not go beyond 100% horizontally this is perfect and then apart from that let's hide the overflow x hidden perfect and font family so i'm going to add the font family of poppins let's do that in the next video uh, i don't want to make this a little bit long because we have to import the fonts from the google fonts so for now let's just ignore it for now and do that afterwards perfect and i want you to do a little bit more stylings with me because uh, this is going to help us in future so i want you to write this styles with me so input for every input box so as you must have noticed that this is going to help us when we create the contact me page this contact me page let me show it to you uh, this here this contact me page so this is going to help here so we don't want any borders outside it whenever we select it so a quick quick style here so whenever we focus on the input or whenever we focus on the text area this or whenever we uh, focus on the select focus we don't want any outline outline none perfect cool so that's it and now yeah i think apart from that there shouldn't be anything much uh, in this particular section but yeah later on we are going to come back to this uh, app.css to add some fonts to our app perfect so now this is it this looks fine nothing changed on the screen because uh, we didn't do anything as such but yeah now there now the turn is for our react router now here comes the major part here comes the main section for this video about react router perfect so now we are going to define routes so routes basically as i already told you in the previous video so localhost slash when i say about it should take me to the about page when i say projects it should take me to the projects page and so on now we are going to define this route as you might have guessed there is a component or there is basically there's a need to define the routes without defining the routes how are we going to proceed uh, with routing our application so what happens when the user goes to slash about we have to define it somewhere right so we define it using <clears throat> router and routes so let's import that import curly braces open i'm going to use browser router for now browser router but don't worry we are going to see all three types of router in upcoming videos don't worry about that and let's also import the route from our react router dom as simple as that perfect now let's start creating some routes so let's use the browser router so this is how we use the browser router so inside the browser router we have to define all the routes let's encamp let's encapsulate it within a single div and inside that div let's use our route so this is how we define a route basically inside the route first we set the router browser router and inside the router we define various route so for example the first route is going to be 
path so we define the path to every route so this is the main initial route and then we define the component so the component is going to be we of course will have to create a component but for now let's just create a component say const uh, sample component is equal to uh, let's create it again a functional component and let's make it return some something like a div inside div let's go let's say um, I am the home page as simple as that so let's make it return this I am the home page perfect so this is it uh, and now let's assign this so basically inside the component prop we have to pass on some component so let's pass on the sample component and that's it that's how we define our routes so let's refresh this perfect so it now reflects i am the home page so that's it as simple as that so now we can define n number of routes for example let's say sample component 2 so inside my sample component 2 let's say i say i am the about page and inside here i can define another route say um, route path can be let's say about or yeah anything like that and then i can type in my component is equal to sample component 2 so as simple as that you must have understood now here's a catch which we are going to come towards which we are going to come to very very soon but yeah first of all let's quickly uh, let's just do one thing let's assign all of our routes here so we are going to have five different pages first one is going to be the home page second one is going to be the about page third one is going to be the projects page fourth one is going to be the uh, skills page and the fifth one is going to be contact page perfect and now very quickly what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one component for each so let's create a folder let's say about and inside the folder about i am going to create my about component so we are going to do that very quickly about.jsx imr which is re import react from react and then <clears throat> let's create the stateless functional component div and i'm going to say um, let's say h1 i am the about page perfect this is the about page very cool and let's also create an about i know this is a boring work that's why i am creating it i'm completing it in the first go itself so so that we don't have to come back to it again and again so let's quickly define all our routes within a single uh, video itself i know i'm being a little bit ambitious but you will have to match up to my speed so let's say home dot jsx and inside home dot jsx i'm going to again create another stateless functional component and then i'm going to say div um, h1 i am the home page perfect and let's import our style sheet home.css and let's create a home.css as well uh, perfect so we are done with home we are done with about uh, yep that's it we should also have a projects projects perfect and inside the projects there should be a projects.jsx inside that let's create another stateless functional component uh, let's go inside this and create a h1 saying i am the projects page perfect this is also very cool let's also create uh, let's also import the style sheet for this projects.css very very good let's also create a css file for this perfect so now we do have projects as well only two remaining skills and contact i hope you were able to do this quickly as well so i am just doing it very very quickly so that we don't have to do this for every single video for every single video i don't want to come back and create another component so let's do it in this video itself so let's create another div h1 saying i am the skills page perfect so the skills is also done inside skills also we need to import the style sheet skills dot css perfect and let's also create a file skills dot css very good so now only one thing is remaining which is our contact page so inside the contact i'm going to create a contact dot jsx 
um, I'm going to do again import react. I'm going to create a stateless function component. I'm going to name it contact. I'm going to define a div, define a h1, and I'm going to say I am the contact page. Very good. And let's import our style sheet. Import dot slash contact dot css. Very very good here. Um, let's finally create a style sheet contact dot css. Perfect. So now we are done with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach all the components here. So let's import home and for the about about for the projects projects for the skills skills for the contact. Let's do a contact page. Very good. Perfect. So I'm going to import home from upfront directory, not upfront directory. It should be within this directory. Yeah, upfront directory, I guess. Yes. And then home slash home perfect import projects from dot dot slash a projects slash projects and we also need to import about from up one directory about slash about projects is done skills and contact remaining skills from up one directory skills slash skills and the last thing is contact from a fund directory uh, contact slash contact very very good so now we are done with this let's remove the sample component and now this should be ready let's see it inside our web browser so now as you can see whenever we go to the initial route we are able to see i am the home page and now i want you to guess just hold on a minute and I want you to guess what's going to happen whenever I go to slash about. So I'm going to go to localhost 3000 slash about. So you must be thinking it should show about section, but be ready for a surprise. Let me show you a surprise slash about. So it showed I am the home page and then I am the about page. What happened here? So don't worry about this. This is a this is the expected behavior. This is how React Router is defined. This is a feature. This is not a bug. Yes, this is a feature. This is not a bug. So let's try out the projects page. Projects. So it again shows I am the home page and then I am the projects page. Very, very cool. So let's try out skills page in the hope that this should work. No, even skills doesn't work. So this is something that I am the home page is getting uh, rendered again and again. Why is it so? So let's quickly take a break here. This video became very, very long, but don't worry. Uh, we, I, I just wanted to cover up all the manual boring work in a single video. So now that we are done with all of our components, um, we don't need to do all this extra effort anymore now. So now we have defined all our routes, but now in the next video, we are going to come back and see why is this home page getting rendered again and again. So that's, that's the thing we are going to see in the next video. And again, if you are seeing any error message, any error message here, I am 110% sure that you made a mistake while creating all these components. I am 100% sure about that or you made some mistake, some spelling mistake or anything while importing those components. So if you are seeing any error message, make sure that you double check all these components. Just pause the video in every component and see what I am doing and try to comp copy that because I'm sure there could not be any other error here because this is the simplest stuff going on here. So if you are seeing any error, just make sure that all of the import statements are correct and all of the components are correct. Perfect. So now I am super glad that we made all our routes in the single video itself and see you in the next video where we are going to see why are we seeing this bug and why is this not a bug but a feature and how to get rid of it. Perfect. See you in the next video. Bye bye.